it's just a tribute to the coaches and the, and the players that just kind of just, you know, just just kind of stuck in there. And then in the end, we just made more plays than, the, than they made. And the play that Cam Johnson made was unbelievable. Robert Randolph, I don't think he's missed from 60 yards out. I, you know, I, I, I think he's done a fantastic job of uh, putting points on the board, uh, whether it's field goals or, or the extra points. And um, like I said, it was just uh, it, it was a good win for this program. Again, the first win is always the best win. And then the follow up travel you know, on the road, night game, just all the different things that, uh, you know, that can happen to you that, you know, that uh, that they can. I just I'm just I'm proud of the guys for what what, what they did and what they accomplished tonight. What, what does it mean to kind of win it the way where you have the game? Looks like you're in control. They come back, score 28 points, crowds into it, then come back, kind of get off the canvas and do it that way. I mean, sometimes that's what, that's what happens in a football game. The gamut and the emotions swing back and forth. And, you know, I thought they, you know, they we kind of play, came out flat a little bit. And, and, and maybe they kind of wanted it more because they were, you know, there was a home, first home game for them. But, you know, uh, we talked about, just guys, you know, good things are going to happen in the game and bad things are going to happen. It's just how we respond to the, to the negative things that happen. And, and you can point to this for future reference that as long as you continue to keep trying to forge ahead and make things positive happen for you, you can come out and you can come out on top. And, and that's what happened uh, tonight. Was that good for you, thinking that you could hold them there and even if you hadn't had the sack, they would have had to punt with to you with more than a minute left? You know, I, that's such a good point, Doug. I, you know, I know they tried to throw the ball, and then there was an incomplete, and then we we're going to use a bunch of timeouts, but we didn't have to use any timeouts at that that point. So that you know that came in, you know, came in and helped us a little bit towards the end. So wasn't quite sure what what their you know what their mindset was on that, um, whether to take it into overtime, you know, because you're at home, that type of thing. But um, you know, uh, the fact that. Uh, the fact that we could save some timeouts and, you know, incomplete pass. One pass was caught on our sideline. The guy ran out of bounds. I mean, it, you know, it, you know, it allowed it allowed us to uh, to make the, you know, to make that big sack because there's no time gone. And, and if we if we if they did punt the ball, there still was a minute, you know, something left on the clock. So we felt good about that having timeouts with making them punt. You know, what was amazing, Jeff, was that on the sideline we were down eight. The, the guys started talking about we're going to come back and win this game, or they, they started talking about when we score, we're going to go for two. And, you know, that kind of talk, you know, you, you can look cross-eyed at somebody, but I think that you start to build you know, a level of confidence in, 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 the, in what's going on in, in the moment, you know. And um, we spoke it, and, and, and it happened. And, you know, that's one of the things you just you, – we got to keep finding ways to win games, to grind out wins, big wins – by a lot, by a little, last second, whatever it is, this team just needs to win games. And and, and today, tonight was a was it was was a good win for us. Well, they scored 28 unanswered points. What was that stretch like for you? Uh, it was torturous. You know, one of them was on the fumble. You know, they they they, they scooped and scored on the fumble. Um, one was on you know kind of on an interception that we should have ran. Uh, uh, the uh, wide receiver should continue to run a route and look bad by the quarterback throwing an interception, but that was mis- you know, it was a wasn't a good you know a good job of running the route there. But uh, it, it, it you know it looked like things could get out of hand, and, and then you start looking back to whether you're looking at the sidelines to see was it that mentality of oh here we go again, or was it what kind of resolve could 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 we have? I mean, how could we fight back? And um, and so you start to see some of the resolve the players had on the sideline. Some of the older some of the older guys. Pulled some of the younger guys along. Said, "This is how you. This is how we're going to win this thing." And we relied on some of the older guys, and they're back there in the room that you'll talk to in a few minutes. One of the, one of the many turning points in the second half was the punt, where I guess the ruling was that it went off the back of Nicholson's leg. Is that? Uh, what, no, what, it's, what, it's an unknown player that went off the back of okay. their well, leg. What was the explanation that, that you got? Was that it? Uh, I asked for the the number of the person that it went off of, and I was told that. Wasn't quite sure who it was. He just saw that it went off the back of someone's leg. So just leave it at that. Seemed like a couple of the true freshmen played like true freshmen tonight. Is that to be expected, particularly <laughs> on the Predators? Or? It appeared like it, Jeff, that, uh, you know, that uh, you know, those guys have made those type of catches in practice, and, and uh, it, it's growing pains, you know. Um, but, again, I'm, I'm convinced of the skill level that they have, that once we get this thing settled down for them, um, you know that uh, 
when they catch the ball, I mean, they, they, they can run with it. So we'll get it, we'll, we'll, we'll get it corrected. We have to because, like I said, we have, they're a talented group of young, young players, Clifton Richardson, you know, just all those guys. Um, and we're going to need them. We're going to need them as the season goes on. Coach, what do you think you learned about yourselves today? You know, probably the biggest thing is, you know, adversity happens a lot of times, and and you could either succumb to it or you could just say, you know what, let me buckle my chin strap and and let's go. And I heard a lot of that on the sideline tonight about guys, you know, talking about, like I said before, you know, when we when we score, we're going to go for two. You know, we need a big turnover. It's just just different things. The type of language, the type of the the, the type of confidence this team this year has as opposed, you know, to, to, to last year. So um, I learned that the word resilient is, is a word that, you know, that uh, that's important, you know, regardless of who you're playing. As I said, college football games are hard to win. And, um, you know, it, it, it sure beats winning the game and having to work on things and then the latter. Was, was the tone of the, the talk on the sideline that you heard tonight, was that <clears throat> different from what it was, you know, last season, especially I, I know the last month of the season, you guys had a lot of close losses that – Come yeah, on. you know, uh, you know, Steve. I think it was the, the tone was more so. It's, it's kind of funny as the game was start was being played. We, we just felt that we could run the ball. We could, you know, I mean, quite. A, we felt that we, you know, we should be able to to control the game. But um, we just weren't playing, you know, with that juice, with that, that, that passion. And then, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, plays happen where guys have to make outstanding plays or things happen to you that you got it got to shock you out of. You know, well, let's go. And, and uh, uh, I just think that as the game went on and things were happening to us, that instead of going south, guys decided that, you know what, man, enough, enough, we got to make a stand somewhere. And uh, I think that the last defensive stand, the score, uh, the drive to get the, to get the last field goal, I think that that was just guys deciding that, you know, for this program and the growth and the development of the stage that we're at, enough is enough, and, and we need to start making plays to win games like this.